Welcome to the 16th video in the series MVMAT Unfolded, a complete guide to the MVMAT software. In the last video, we explained how to generate and customize visual maps using our simulation output data. In this video, we will compare two datasets, explore single grid data, and create 3D data maps. First, we need to go to the data navigator on the right hand side. Here we can select two file sets, set A and set B. As an example, we will compare the potential air temperature at 11 am and at 12 pm at the same day. We can of course also compare data of two different simulation runs of the same model area. First we will select our file set A which will be at 11 am. Then we select file set B which will be at 12 pm. Now that we have both file sets selected, we will have a quick look into the data navigator settings. Here we have various options we can switch on or off as we wish. What we are interested in right now is the data comparison section. Here we can define if we want to show the absolute or percentile change of our values and we can select which file set should be the reference. After we selected our preferred options, we can go to extract data to map, select potential air temperature as our data layer and adjust the k-value just like in the previous video. To compare the two selected datasets however, we now have to click on the Compare 2D button. Leonardo will now create a map that compares the potential air temperature values at the two different times. Once our data map loads, we can adjust the color palette, the axis and the legend values in order to better visualize the data. To analyze simulation data of a single grid cell, we simply need to right click on the grid cell and select the option Explore Grid Cell. In our case, the data of the observation file set will be loaded. After that, the analysis window will appear. Here we can choose a time range for the data we want to analyze. For that, we need to right click on the timestamp and mark it as the start of our time series and do the same with the preferred end. We can then click on any of the variables on the right side of the window to show them in the graph on the left side. We can also adjust the color and point style and select which axis the graph refers to. If we wish to export the data from the grid cell, we can click the Export Sheets button to export our data as an Excel file. Now we are going to create a 3D map. For that, we simply need to go to the Data Navigator and click on Extract 3D. Of course, we can also compare maps in 3D. Once our 3D map has loaded, we can change a variety of settings just like in the 2D mode. We can also navigate around the map using the view control. If we activate the data layer 3D setting, we first see a big blue cube. That's because all of the data cubes of all of the grids in the model area are visible right now. To change this, we can either filter volumes by their data value or we can filter them by location. If we for example say that only volumes between 0 and 5 on the z-axis should be displayed, the big cube disappears and we can now only see the first 5 grid layers close to the ground. We can also change the transparency and the size of the data cubes. Under Vector Layer 3D, we can activate Tubular Bed's 3D settings to see the wind flow patterns in our model. We can also animate the wind flow patterns under Particle slash Trajectory 3D settings. Thank you for watching our Unfolded series. Please also check out our other tutorials here on YouTube.